Yeah, I have so many supporters there, and like you know, my teachers and my friends, family, and it's, I'm happy to be fighting in, in front of them and show them what I, you know they've been hearing what I can do, but for them to see it, that's 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 a real good opportunity. We've been getting a lot of requests for tickets. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how does it how does it uh, feel to be moving up to 147? Yeah, it feels great, uh, physically and mentally. You know, uh, I'm I'm a bigger guy. Uh, it was just time to move up. I've been at 140 since uh, the amateurs. I've been at 140 for about five, six years already. So it was just time to move up. Um, other than that, I just feel great. Down, down the road, you see yourself going out there, what, 54, 60? 60. 60? 60? Yeah. And, uh, you know, with the, I heard you earlier mention, uh, you know, Selena Gomez, when she's in town, you know, from Grand Prairie. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, she brings in the crowd. Do mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you think you'll have that same effect on, uh, on the hometown crowd? I hope so. You know, uh, you know, I don't know if people talk about me or not, but if they do, then I, I hope that they'll come uh, want to watch me fight. Uh, I hope that Grand Prix is excited for this upcoming fight because we, we don't really have any fights. I think the last fight we had was when uh, Mikey, fought, Mikey fought here and uh, Jesus Soto Carras had fought in the in arena, actually right next to where I'm fighting at, but it's been a, it's been a long time. And to have a, a, good, a good fight like this coming up, uh, I'm just really happy. So what can you tell us about, uh, you know, Orozco? Uh, you know, he's a tough opponent. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, he only has one loss on his record against, uh, you know, a champion in Ramirez. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell us about, uh, about your opponent? And how, how do you see the fight playing out? I, he's he's definitely gonna want to come forward. Uh, he he's uh he wants to build up his path to the world title again. So he's definitely gonna want to beat me. And uh, you know what? I, I just feel I feel kind of almost flattered in a way that he thinks that I'm I'm the perfect opportunity to build that up. It just makes me feel like oh maybe you know I'm he thinks I'm a good fighter that uh, a win on his resume against me would would look good. You know he just. Cool. And you know, there's a lot of talk of you, you know, being one of the next superstars in the sport. You know, how does that make you feel to, to you know, have people think of you and you know, as, as the next big superstar? Oh, it makes me feel good. You know, it makes me uh, want to prove them right. You know, I'm not gonna let it get to my head and think that. You know, a lot of people will say that about some fighters, and then they'll think that they're already there. Well, you're not there yet. You gotta keep working for it, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right. Now, finally, uh, just a, a word to your fans. Uh, what, do you, what do you have to say to them? Uh, you know what? Uh, I just want to say thank you. Uh, this this has been a long ride, and it's gonna be even longer. Uh, but I just want to say thank you for supporting me uh, through this whole time, and uh, to my future fans, you know what? Uh, I just, I'm grateful for all you guys. <laughs>